everyone, it's Fi the Ink Dragon. It's been a while. I have been pretty busy with work and then after that I took a long holiday to the mountains and do some hiking. So I'm very energetic today to bring you a new currently ink for my mid-August 2024. Let's get to it. My first pen and ink combination is Jinhao 80 with a Lamy Broad Nib. I fill it with Fun Demands from the Night series, Tiger Qual Pro. This is both a sheening and shimmer ink, and the sheen is very strong. The Jinho 80 really shows that it really does not have a good cap seal, because if I don't use this ink for a day, then the next day I need to shake the pen a bit in order for the ink to go on. Well, that's expected because this is a very heavy sheen ink after all. Well, in writing, the base color shows more and it's on the browner side. This swatch, it's basically green just because of the sheen. So when looking at these swatches, let's try to focus more on the part where it does not have any sheen on it. And if we do, the base color of Diamond Burnt Sienna looks pretty close. But if we look at the writing at the bottom, I think the chai is pretty close, even though the Tiger Qual Pro have a yellower base tone. Next up is my Opus 88 Pumpkin with Medium Steel Nip, Joe number 6. I fill it with Robert Oster from the Drink Series Brandy. I noticed that I have been inking dark colored inks lately and so having this light colored ink is really nice for change. On my short experience with this pen and ink combination, sometimes it feels a bit dry but I'm not 100% sure so don't quote me on that. If I look at the writing sample here and here side by side, the brandy is quite similar to Kyunghui. And wearing Go Kyunghui is already discontinued, so if you're searching for another alternative, then I can safely say that Robert Oster Brandy is kind of similar to it. Okay, the next pen and ink combination is my primary manipulation one from Studio Akakakan. I have my most favorite nib in it, my friend Clint Christoph Medium Sick Nib. I fill it with color for Blue Black Limited Edition. This is from South Korea, Huryo Gelaton. How the bottle looks, I really love the illustration that they put in there. It's very cute. For the Blue Black Limited Edition, they have this green one that I have and there's another blue one that I don't buy. This is the bottle, I get a big one, 65 milliliter. I was quite worried that this green will be very pale. In the end, I was worried for nothing because it's a very legible soft green. The ink is flowing well from the pen and I heard that there are some water resistance to it. So uh, when making swatches, I used the gap of the sample file and I forgot to clean it and when I wash it the next day, it takes quite some time to clean it. I, to no surprise, don't have any similar color to this ink. It's paler and cooler than Roar and Cleaner Alcohol Rune. It's greener than Sailor Manyokoke and definitely greener from Colorful Rainy Day. The next pen and ink combination is my Pilot Custom Heritage 91. It's a cartridge converter pen and it has the Pilot Size 5 medium 14 karat gold nib. I fill it with Sailor Security so then. At first, when I was inking this ink, I thought, oh, maybe this is just a regular blue. But then, when I tried writing it on my Yusari paper, the blue kinda softens. So it's like a palish blue, but on Tomei River paper, it's just a vibrant blue. I wonder what's happening in there. As for the color, it's slightly softer than Pilot Iro Shizuku Konpeki and also slightly softer than Color First Crystal Planet. And times like this, I feel like even though we have a similar kind of blue in your collection, it's not really exactly the same if you look at the swatches. The last pen and ink combination that I have today is my Penny Talisman in Peacock R. It has a medium smith nib 
and I feel it with Ferris Wheel Press limited edition 2024 Aurora Realis. It is a dark purple with a, a purple and gold shimmer. The base color itself is quite normal quote and quote, but the shimmer is the one that makes this ink more special. I'm quite surprised that there are some purples in my collection that have almost the same base color as Aurora Realis. So when I look at it here with my own eyes, the base color is so close to Soren Klingna Scapiosa and Mont Blanc Lavender Purple. And I have nothing else to say about this thing. <laughs> and yeah, that's all the pens that I have ink right now. I'm curious if any of this ink is similar to what you have in your collection and what they are. And I hope that you have a very great day. See you on the next one. Bye bye!